Well, we are almost done here at MSI. Just one more day to go. Of course, this coverage brought to you by OnePlus. But I'm joined right now by Candice from the LPL to talk about many different things. Uh, and we have not spoken on in an interview. We've done we've talked at these events, but we haven't uh, done an interview in like four years, I think, right? But we kept meeting with each other. Yes. <laughs> during we do, the international. Yes. We do run into each other, but oh. I just I thought it would be fun for people at home to get an update on how you are. So what have the last four or five years been like for you? Pretty good. Yeah. And sorry for you guys, I got married. <laughs> it's, I, there are many people I'm sure who are heartbroken, but congratulations on the on the marriage. Uh, some people might know who you got married to. Who did you get married to? I'm the one you spoke with just now. Yeah, I, I did an interview with Teddy. If you would like to meet uh, Candace's husband, I would like to hit more <laughs> what? viewers oh, okay. <laughs> on your video. Like the previous ones was Teddy, <laughs> next one was Candace. Yeah, exactly. We'll link them together. It's perfect. Okay, so you got married. Congratulations. Uh, when was this again? I. Is the March the 10th. Okay. Uh. So right just a couple months ago. Yes. Okay. Uh, and is is London your honeymoon? Is MSI your honeymoon? Mm, kind of. Okay. <laughs> and now like two LPL team get into the final. That make my honeymoon <laughs> more sweet. Yes. Do you think they did it for you? They said, oh, we need to give a nice wedding gift to Candace and Teddy. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, so yeah, how happy are you? Because we just we're filming this right after BLG uh, moved on to the grand finals against uh, JDG. So how happy are you about the LPL LPL finals? I'm very excited about the LPL LPL final. This hasn't uh, we we haven't got the like LPL final in the international stage, right? Uh, for uh, except yeah. for MSC, I yes. think. It's, top esports against Fun Plus Phoenix. Yes. Uh, so it's like the very first time to see two LPL teams get into the international event. Um, and there will be one LPL win the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, you know that LPL wins MSI, even though we haven't seen the finals. There are so many LPL fans in the audience. What is that like for you to travel to London? And I saw this in New York. Mm -hmm. You go to these events and there's just so many LPL fans, even though we're not uh, watching from Shanghai, for instance, or Beijing. What is it like for you to see so many fans here at these events? I'm really appreciative for all the LPL fans, the voting and the cheering for um, our players, our teams, because they're really like vocal and also the cheerleader uh, in the crown make me feel really um, happy or very proud of. Um, because when we are sitting at the backstage, I can only tell from the voice yeah. that whether we are winning or losing. So I'm really excited to hear the voice like Jiao yeah. in Chinese. I don't know. Oh no! Oh, they got this kind of team fight winning in that scenario. Yes. <laughs> you just follow along from the crowd. Yeah. Uh, and and what has it been like for you returning to international events? Because I saw you at Worlds last year, but now you know I see you at these events, and you're you get to see uh, G Sun and Shox, and I know a lot of people you're friends with here. So what is it like for you getting to go to these international events again? It's always very good to meet with the old friends that we have been together for seven years, yeah. I think so. So we always talk with each other during the international stage. Maybe it's like uh, MSI or the Worlds. And we always talk about our personal life and also our professional life. <laughs> so it's a different kind of um, story. Yeah. And you can talk with the girls we always have girls talk night, like maybe with some drinks or over um, the dinner. Yes. We we'll talk with each other about our um, plans, about our future, yes. and also our um, maybe the pressures that we have on our shoulders. So all those kind of talks will help me to release my stress and also um, have more maybe goals or those kind of things. Yeah. Mm. You had a girls' night the other day while Dracos and I were playing Magic the Gathering at the table in the corner. Uh, is that where you normally have girls' night? Is whatever we're playing uh, a card game nearby? I think you just wanted to mention that you're playing the Magic card with the girls. Like, girls like, wow, Travis, you're so good at Magic cards. Yes, yes. 
We were getting cheered on uh, by all of them. It was very, it was very nice. Uh, <laughs> not my conventional way of playing Magic. Uh, what has what has it been like working in the LPL for the past couple of years? Because I think we've seen some really good teams and some fun stories. So maybe for the Western fans, you can give us a little bit of insight into some of the cool moments from LPL recently. Uh, I think for LPL, we have ups and downs. Uh, previous years, we win the worlds for so many times. So we are kind of like built a lot of confidence in, <laughs> like within ourselves, like maybe we're the one of the best the region. But last year, um, the LCK win the whole thing. So we were like kind of doubt ourselves whether we're the best. Yeah. But this time we just <laughs> got into the final by uh, beating the Genji and T1 was only one team, because yes. uh, VLG. <laughs> and also VLG is kind of like miracle round through the playoffs, and they play uh, five build, uh, five build, best of fives to get into the spring final. Mm -hmm. And then here they play from the very beginning to the grand final. Yeah. So that's why I think VLG kind of have a very um, resilience or they're kind of, um, the adjustments yeah. in the tournaments are very good. Yes. Also, I wanted to say like thank you for um, voting or cheering for BLG mm -hmm. and keep your face with them. Yeah. It's really important to believe in them. Yeah. yeah, That's really cool. That's very nice. I was curious, do you feel bad for the LCS teams? Because we ended up having to face both LPL teams, and it was so tough, you know. So, why, you know, do you feel bad that we had the tougher side than LEC? Um, I'm not very sure because I didn't pay too much attention about the draws, yeah, yeah. like whether it's play against LCS or LEC. But I do feel um, this year LCS their like early game is pretty good. Yeah. They almost have the lead, uh, like around 20 minutes yeah. but the biggest problem for LCS team is like they cannot uh, close out a game yeah. with the big early leads so maybe that's uh, they have to work that's what they have to yeah. work on late, later in the summer yes. or uh, with the coaching stuff and also the shot calls I think that uh, one of the mo one one of the most like impressive thing for me is like Golden Guardians, mm. they talk bilingual. Yeah. <laughs> like who have to translate within the team, the Korean and also English. Yeah. That's why I asked him like, you are the translator within your team. So how was it? Yeah. So he was like, I'm very <laughs> stressful when we are ha uh, have when we have the like uh, a lot of lead yes. in the game. They begin to uh, talk with each other, and I have to translate. So that make me feel really stressed. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, it is very unique uh, for them. So it sounds like what you're saying is we just have to uh, get better at the late game and then we can beat LPL easy, right? Um, at Worlds, LCS, we just fix that and then we're going to be better than LPL at Worlds? I'm not very sure because uh. the format will change. Mm, yeah. This year's MSI is different, like yes. double <laughs> elimination format. And for this year's Worlds, is another format. Yeah, so maybe LCS have a bigger shots okay. at that time. Very good. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Uh, thank you so I much. Say something good to make yeah. you feel better. <laughs> All right. We're going to end the interview. Candace, is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, hi, guys. I'm really happy to do the interview with Travis. It's, uh, it has been so many years. And also, hope you guys can like this interview and keep trekking with Travis. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, thank you again. Congratulations on your marriage. As you said, probably many sad people out there, but happy for you. Uh, for everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things MSI right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching that interview. Hope you really appreciate my MSI coverage. And if you do, you should also appreciate OnePlus for sending me out here. This is the OnePlus 11, which is now available. It's an amazing phone with a lot of really cool features for gamers, uh, which has been it's just been really fun for them to send me this phone and for me to check it out. It's got an amazing camera system and so much more. And uh, if you would like to check it out, one, you can go to the uh, link in the description below, but also I've got an extra one. They sent me an extra one of these things. It's a 
Again, a really cool phone. And uh, I'm going to be giving it out to one of you. So we're going to be doing a giveaway. Check my Twitter uh, for more information on that. We're going to be doing it over the course of uh, the event. But thank you so much to OnePlus for hooking me up. And hopefully uh, we can hook you up too if you end up winning the giveaway. But either way, thank you so much to OnePlus, And thanks for watching my video.